As they pulled back, they brought with them a wounded Viet Cong, a young woman commando they had been fighting. Now the enemy, soon the victor. The North Vietnamese army entered Saigon just as they'd planned on May Day. Their journey had taken over 30 years, 10,000 days. Their tanks had thundered down the length of Vietnam all the way from Hanoi. Now they crossed Saigon's boulevards and their foot-weary infantry plodded past the deserted military barracks. The people did not know whether they should cheer or weep, and they had yet to discover who was friend and who was foe. South Vietnam, such a short-lived nation, was finally toppled.